Drums come in many forms, from bongos to snares. Drumming today holds an important role in maintaining tempo and getting an audience excited. As the heartbeat of the song, a drum beat is usually intense and consistent. At the very least, it adds flavor to complement a band's vocals and guitar riffs. The modern drum set consists of a snare, kick drum, tom-toms, a crash cymbal, ride cymbal, hi-hats, and of course, drumsticks. Humans have been playing percussion instruments for thousands of years. The first recorded instance of a drum is 5500 BC. The Neolithic instrument was made of alligator skin stretched over wood or clay and originated from China. This later evolved into the bronze dong song drums in Vietnam during 3000 BC. Sri Lankan and African drums dated back to 1000 BC, which later spread to North America during the slave trade in 1500 AD. Europe was eventually introduced to the drum in 1200 AD via the Mediterranean trade routes. The classic drum set isn't complete without its cymbals, though they weren't always paired together. The cymbal originates in either Turkey or China circa 1100 BC. They were originally used to keep time signatures, but have evolved since then. Music also had a place in the military for a long time. China took hold of the idea as early as 684 BC during the war between Xi and Lu. During the Crusades, Europeans copied the idea and quickly implemented drums into their drills and battles. During the 1800s, American drummer boys utilized them to send messages and signals in wartime. Bongos originated from Cuba during the 19th century. Their popularity greatly influenced early jazz and salsa. Bongos are two separate drums attached to each other at the side. The smaller one, the macho drum, and the larger one, the hembra. Conga drums, on the other hand, came from Africa. Congo, specifically. They were made from hollowed out logs. They were introduced to South America via the African slave trade and also gained a foothold in Morocco and Spain. As massive as the continent of Africa is, there are many versions of the drums. One, one thing's together. After that, I, I'm coming with the similar token drum I play. See? <laughs> yeah. Other African drums include djembe, talking drum, bata, and ngomba. Bata is a set of three drums that can be hit on the top or bottom. They come from Yoruba origin and are often used for religious events. The djembe, a drum made from goat skin and wood, originates from Mali around the 13th century. Griots utilize the djembe in storytelling. Griots are storyteller musicians with the honor of passing down historical records and generational stories in group settings. The djembe is also used in regular and religious events. A tambourine is a small handheld drum with bells fastened around its rim. Small tambourines were played in Mesopotamia, Israel, Egypt, Rome, and Greece. And it was known for different names like the tympanon or the tympanum. Today they are prominent in Black American gospel and Middle Eastern folk music. The tambourine is frequently used as an instrument of worship and largely played by women. Today we have many variations. By learning a bit about the rich history of our instruments, we get a chance to celebrate human ingenuity. Thank you for tuning in.